Okay, so this is recording now. We are now doing Hunger Games. Woo! Yeah. Um. We're doing a personal one this time. If you... Well, this website's called... I don't know what the website's called. It's just search up... Just Google Hunger Games Simulator and you just got it. Anyway, personal. Let's just begin. Season name. What do you want this Hunger Games season to be called? Um... Let's call it the crappening. Also, we're not adding pictures, because I don't know how to do that, actually. That'd be funny if I was like, Togus, that's not how you spell crappening. <laughs> is it not how you spell crappening? No, it is, but the thing is, it's just not a word, so who am I to tell you how it's spelled? But that's definitely spelled correctly, actually. Uh, okay. So anyway, uh, who do you want? Who do I want? Do like That's participate? A personal. Oh, to participate. Um, yeah, because I think we put we just put names in because we're doing a custom version. We can't just like. Um. Let's see. Can I be from District Five? Make me from District Two. They're rich, I think, and I've Dude, probably I don't... been trained for this my whole life. Oh, you want me to put my name alongside yours? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Wait, no, it has to be a girl. No. Oh, it has to be a woman? Yeah. No, for, the, for the sake of this, it doesn't, but for lore accuracy. We go, oh, we're going to try to be lore accurate? Yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, okay. Man, it's been a minute since I watched the movies, nor... No, I don't. I never watched the movies, but I... It's been a minute since I read the books. I don't remember anything from the books. Mm -hmm. I... Dude... You know how, like, you know AR points, right? AR reading? AR reading. In elementary, I all, I think I failed, like, all of them. I failed the test for all of them, but the first one. Did you get, like, an F in reading? No, no, the AR. Yeah. And so in elementary school and reading, whenever there is, like, a period of time where I didn't take any AR tests, I got an F in reading because I didn't take any AR tests. So if you failed, that essentially has the same effect. Well, no, hang on. If failing an AR test, you didn't, you didn't take any AR test. Period. But I did. I just failed the AR test. Yeah. So if you fail the thing that accounts for the majority of your grade, then your grade would fail. Well, I made it up of reading other books. I think. I don't remember what this was. I think this was like. Sixth grade, fifth grade, maybe? I'm going to ignore that. Let my phone will vibrate. Wait, no, it is on vibrate. What the frick? Anyway. What? Modern problems. Am I right, fellas? Um, this has been a great tangent. Let's move on. Oh, I, for, who do you, for this non-existent audience. Who do you want your partner to be? Your mom? Thanks. Okay. Um... Let's make my part. Okay, it has to be a girl. Um, who's a girl that we know that I would want to be my partner? Um... I'm ha wait, I got. A, I thought of a funny idea. Rafael's mom is my partner. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. You just want to just pick. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> what the heck? So, um, Douglas and my mom, partners. Me and Douglas's mom, partners. Yep. Very interesting. Alright, who should be the first dude? Should it be someone we know, or should it be, uh, yeah. someone different? Someone we know. Uh, we can, you know, we can throw in some randos, like Brad Pitt or something. Okay. Bradrick Pitt. Let's see, and then <coughs> the, uh, the 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 singer from Wagaki Band. They're a team. Yuko. Susuha. I think that's how you spell it. I might be wrong. Oh, let me let me search it up. I'm surprised I remember this actually. You go, hang on. Go see. Suzuhana. That's how you spell it. Bro, you're such a big fan. Shut up. 
Okay, Brad Pitt, and you could see the highlight. Hannah. Um, we can pick these next two. Um, what's the Asian guy's name in Polythia? Tim Henson. <laughs> Tim Henson. Did I spell that right? Yeah. And Haley from Paramore. Haley Williams. I think it's um, H A I. H A I. Oh. Yeah. No, no, no. And and yeah, and Haley. H A I. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, Tim Henson and Haley Williams. That would be a good song. That would that would be a banger. Um. All right. I'll pick one person for this district. How about? Um, okay, I'm gonna go just from, like, right to, you know, right to left and up to down, um, on Douglas's wall and see who's in these pictures, I think. Upper mind. Oh, he's looking at my yeah. pictures on my wall. that guy's name was. Um, what are you looking at? What's this guy's name again? I forget his name. Or actually, who's that? I don't, I don't think Alicia? I Alicia? I think that's Hayden next to Alicia. Hayden, yeah, okay, I don't know Alicia, but I think I've interacted with Hayden, so let's put him on there. I don't think, I'm not, I'm not going to put his last name, I'm just going to put Hayden. Okay. <clears throat> Who should be the female? Uh... Um, someone we know. Um... I don't think that'd be ideal. Why? Okay. Ooh, okay. <laughs> um let's make it be um how about what's what's that Harry Potter character's name? She's that really old professor lady. You think I know? Okay, how about how about Yaddle from Star Wars? How do you spell that? Y A, it's like paddle with a Y. Oh, yeah, no. Okay. Yeah. okay. District, <laughs> District 6. District 6. Okay. I think I'll do this. Yeah. What, we need to think big. We need to think like alien species. Like, I'm thinking about Star Wars, but I kind of want to. What could be more alien than a xenomorph from Alien? Wait, I got an idea. I'm going to put a. What's the... Hang on. I'm trying to think of... Calvin Coolidge? Is this some conspiracy theory I'm unaware of? I'm trying to put, like, some really obscure historical figure. He was the president of the United States, was Okay, not? but not... Okay, well... I'm... I don't know, man. Okay, so, uh, are we talking, like... You know, like C list, like historical figures. I suppose. Yeah. I guess you could put Calvin Coolidge. I can't name a thing he did or what he looks like. I spelled his last name. I believe it's cool. And then I D G E? D G E. Okay. Coolidge? You know, if not, was then he like it's a his fault for not being more important. Was he like a was he a reconstruction area era president? I think, well, I think it was like early 1900s. So like reconstruction? I guess I don't know if it was really still a reconstruction by that point. Uh, well, nobody remembers him. Yeah. I don't even know what he did. Actually, was she got a president that we know something that he did? A female? There's no female presidency yet. I guess. I don't know. I already put my person, so... Okay. Let's see. Um, a female. Well, should we stay on theme? On what? Let's stay on theme. It's kind of fitting. Each district has a theme, so let's have each pair be a theme. Okay. Um, I'm on. Okay, so a, a C-list historical woman. Um, 
Queen Victoria the First. It sounds pretty relevant. We might get canceled for this. Yeah, I'm feeling impending cancellation, but it's not my fault they didn't let women do stuff back in the day. Um, okay, let me think about recent history. There's plenty of women in recent history. That'll be easy. Um, okay. Historical figures. Um, I, you know, let's. I don't. I don't care. I feel like she's more of like a. She's probably like a B-lister, honestly. But Greta Thunberg. We could just do Rosa Parks. No, she no, she's not B.U.S. She's like S. Rosa Parks is pretty influential and well liked. That is true. Stupid uh, Greta Thunberg. Uh, isn't she know. like a climate yeah. activist? How do you spell that? Her name? Um, I believe that will be T A at the end. Mm -hmm. Um, and then Thunberg. Yeah. Okay. What should this theme 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 be? About. Let's just do more people we know. Evan? Sure. Who else? Can we Evan and Colette? Can go along with that. You wanna do Cooper and Kylie? Yeah. It ends in an H, doesn't it? Yeah. I had a brain fart. Okay, so... I had a brain sharp, don't ask. Alright, so I think that's enough people... I don't... No, I don't... there's gotta be 12 districts. No, I don't want to add more people that we know. I want to be, like, more creative. So. Oh, I thought this was a group effort. Um, uh, I'm just trying to get even cited. Steven cited. Hmm. What did Steven cite? Elmo. Steven cited Elmo. Um, season, season one, episode twelve of Sesame Street. Um. Oh. Wait, how do you know this? I, I don't know. Elmo. And, man, imagine a crossover between Elmo and Barney. That would have... Is Barney a female? No. Well, you know, let's say Barney Barney transitioned. Okay, so Barney's trans. Now, she, now she's Barbie. Okay. Barbie! Yes. Barbie, the purple dinosaur. <laughs> What's Elmo's last name? That's crazy how nobody's named Elmo anymore, so that's just, like, the only thing people think of when we hear Elmo, like. Like, it may as well just be, like, a made-up name at this point, you know? Elmo the Puppet. Is that a name or a title? That's just a title. No, this is a title. This is a name. Oh. The Pepe. Yeah. The Pepe. The Pepe. So next one, let's, let's do, hmm. Can it be like Trump and Kamala? Okay. Can't wait to read fan fiction of them together or something like that. What are you waiting for, dude? Yeah, you're right. I should write it myself. I mean, I've got, like, a whole stash on my phone. Oh, you do? Mm -hmm. Send it to me. I got it. Alright, what's next? Ouch. Um... 
Can't be Mr. Rob. Okay. And let's make it be Mr. Rob and Mr. Rob's wife. No, that's a joke. Let's make it like a superhero. Supergirl? That's the only girl I can think of. No, there's a lot of there's a lot of female superheroes. Miss Marvel. You wanna do that? Mm, let's make it be <coughs> I guess it'd be like Spider Woman. Gwen. Yeah, Gwen Stacy. Stacy. Alright, that's one. Or Ghost Spider. <laughs> Screw that, Spider Woman. Anyway. Um, last one. Last one, eh? District 12, let's see. Who would be from District 12? How about... Hmm, do we know anybody named Cole? Yeah. I forgot his last name. Cole Harris. Why was I thinking that too? I was thinking Harrison. Who is that? Wait, Cole. Harrison? That's the name of my band director. Uh, Cole Harris is? Or Cole Harrison? Who is Cole? I know this person. Jeez Louise. Wait, no. I said I wanted to avoid people that we know. Oh, okay. How about... There's always Cole from Ninjago. Okay. How do you spell Cole from Ninjago? I believe it's with a C. I think it's C O L E. Is he the robot dude? No, that one is um, Zane. Okay, so like, wait, so is Cole the red or the blue ninja? Neither. Wait, hang on. So there's the white ninja, there's the red ninja, there's the blue ninja. Oh, wait, a black ninja. Yeah. Ah, uh, I forgot. Wait, the, what's the green ninja? Lloyd. Wasn't he? I thought he was a kid. Yes. Hang on, wait, what's the word of the jungle? I completely forgot. So, like, I know the white dude is a robot. Yes. And then, like, the main villain guy, isn't that, like, the green ninja is the powerful one? The Okay, so Lord Garmadon, I think he's only, like, a villain for, like, the first season or two. I, I think it's the first two seasons. Um... So him and uh, Sensei Wu, I think, used to be homies back in the day, but then something happened. And it, he, the Lord, what? Lord Garmadon. Garmadon had a son, which is... The Green Ninja. The Green Ninja. And the Green Ninja is like a prophecy of the most powerful ninja, is that right? Yeah, like the Chosen One or something. Yeah, the Chosen Ninja. What is his element? Is it his ability that he There's has, elements? He's like the Avatar. Wait, there's elements to Ninjago? Wait, hang on. No good. Bo, yeah. it's been years since from, I watched the Jungle. From day one, Kai, the 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 red fire ninja, Zane, the white ice ninja, Jay, the blue lightning ninja, Cole, the black earth ninja, and then there's Lloyd, the green ninja, also the gold ninja. Is the gold ninja now? Yeah, he, like, powers up into the Gold Ninja, but I think they can all power up into Gold Ninja, so it's not really, like, a Gold Ninja, but I don't know for sure. I don't know what Lloyd's power is, though, which is making me think maybe he's, like, the avatar of, like, a Ninjago. Or, and then he's the... Really uh, I'm gonna Google, what is Lloyd's element? What's the Green Ninja's element? I feel like we're on the tangent here. Um... Younger I was, needed the money. I did. Okay. Um. What element was? I did not know there were elements. Wasn't there like a? You must not have like ever like 
Okay, first at, of, you must not have like ever looked at one of the Lego sets or like watched a single episode. Of okay, Lego. here's the thing: I watched episodes, but I was like in elementary school. I was in third, fourth grade, maybe, and I haven't thought about it since. Ever since, you know, I'm more of a Lego City guy than a Lego Ninjago guy. You know, okay. Lloyd Green is the color of life. It is a life it element. Flows through all living things, connecting them all. Green is the element of Lloyd, the green ninja of the secret ninja force. Secret ninja force? Green represents life and connects all living things. It is the only element that is not outwardly visible. This feels like it was written by... Hmm. I have no clue. I'd well, say it's, AI, it's on the Ninjago it's... wiki on the fandom. So that must be true. Well, that's the Reddit page where we're gonna have like actual like answers. Um, it's energy. That is the correct term for it. I guess power can also be another word for energy. Okay. The green power in the movie is something completely different and not canon to the TV universe. Okay. Uh, yeah, the Ninjago multiverse. Jesus. In the show, energy. In the movie. Green. Okay. Yeah, so the movie's an adaptation, though, which means is energy what? is the answer. Is it a movie? I thought it was only a TV show. Yeah, there's a movie. The nin- Wait, how many movies are there? Just one, I think. Wait, how many seasons of the se- seasons of the show are there? I have no clue. Man, I am, like, not up with the Ninjago War. Anyway, Cole... And neither am I, do this. Cole, what is his last name? Cole, what is his last name? I don't think they have one. Well, actually, you know, I might be wrong. Ninja, how do you spell Ninjago? Thanks. Yep, no, wait. Is that two J's? Ninjago. Ninjago. Yes. Alright, I know there's a lady, there's a female side character. Cole Ninjago Gay? What? What? Um, Cole. Oh, I think Cole is like the son of Clutch Powers. Do you think I know this? Who's Clutch Powers? He's from uh, the first Lego movie. What? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, the Lego I don't, movie? Know, I don't know if that is. They're the connected? Lego movie. What? Wait, the Lego movie and Ninjago are connected? I think. Okay, so. Is there like the a. The Ninjago movie is in a different universe to the Lego movie. I th- Are they, is there, like, a cinematic Lego universe that I'm not aware of? Yeah, it consists of the Lego movie, the Lego movie 2. I think the Lego Batman movie is basically... Is, isn't the Lego movie just imagination? In a nutshell, it's imagination yes. of a child. Yes, I don't think Cole has a last name, but... Oh, wait, is it not Cole Powers? What the heck, dude? I feel like we're getting off on a tangent, because we've been talking about Ninjago... Anyway, who should be the female? Oh, yeah. What's the name of that uh, girl from Bug Movie? Uh, Wild Style. Is that her name? The one that Emmett make, meets? Yeah. Wild Style. Is that right? I believe so. What a name, Wild Style. Gosh. Okay, I guess this is our thing. Wait, what is Skip? Skip, oh, this is just for the image, because we're supposed to add an image URL, but like... Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, how have we been doing this for 25 minutes already? The crappening. Okay. Alright. Finally, we started. Who do you think will win? I'm betting... I feel like Elmo sticks out to me. 
I'm gonna root for. Well, okay. Who do I think will win? Who Who do you want to root for? Who do you want to okay, root for? I'm so leaving. who I want to root for? Probably Tim Henson. Tim Henson. But who do you think will win? Who do I think will win? Probably. Well, I'm rooting for Elmore the Pipette. Dang, I don't know who I think will win. I think. Eh, we don't know. I'm so you're rooting for Tim Henson. I'm for Tim Henson. I'm rooting for Elmo the Pipette. Okay. Elmo the Pipette. Okay. All right. Hayden runs away from the cornucopia. Colette gets a first aid kit. Donald Trump finds a canteen full of water. Oh, wait. Oh, this is not a good sign, Raphael. Daryl breaks Tim Henson's nose for a basket of bread. Oh. Runs away, runs away. Oh, Kylie got a weapon now. Runs away. Barbie runs away. Ooh, wait, what? Ooh, Kamala Harris is unable to convince your mom not to kill her. So does it mean she's dead? Um, it just means that my mom still has the intention to kill Kamala Harris, which is probably accurate to real life. Um, Brad Pitt grabs his sword, uh, runs away, runs away, runs away. Oh, I broke Evan's nose. Wait, did I spell his name right? Last name? I believe so. Man, I remember it for a while. Ooh, Cooper! Repeatedly stabs Lego Cole to death with size. What's the size? Um... That's the thing that, wait, does one of the ninjas have that? Oh, with his own weapon? N That's crazy. Cole, wait. I think Cole's weapon is um, a scythe. Jay's weapon is the s nunchucks. Eh, that's not important. So, I feel like... Okay, so your mom... Raphael's me, weapon is the Psy, you know, it's like... The Psy. Weapon. Okay, Cooper's definitely, like, one of the... Cooper's definitely aggressive. Yeah. He... But, like, breaking someone's nose over a basket of bread, would you say that's, like, a aggressor move or something? I mean, it's the Hunger Games, but... Yes? Dude, Cooper is probably the more aggressive version. I guess he's, like, wants to win or whatnot, but Colette has a bit of an advantage. Well, no. Donald Trump, Colette have, like, first aid kits, so they're more, like, support... Uh, Yaddle and I have a basket of bread, but come on, Harris, I don't know if she's dead. Kylie has a pretty good chance. She she has a trident right here. Henson has a bloody nose. Come on, mate. Poor Evan. I broke his nose over a basket of bread. We could have worked together, <clears throat> but unfortunately, this isn't me. This is me and the Hunger Games. The Hunger Games changes you're people. Not you when you're I'm not you, not you when you're hunger. When you're Hunger. You aren't you when you are hunger. But from look, oh, Brad Pitt has a sword, so he might have an advantage. So I think, yeah, the bloodbath. So I guess Is three that people. Be a reference, good one, man. <laughs> what? Oh, I guess not. I don't get the joke. But anyway, this is not at least half of the people didn't die in the beginning of the bloodbath. Isn't that like the most violent part of the Hunger Games? I. Would assume so if it's called the blood bath. I mean, uh, most people like I think yeah, more I mean, than half of the people the, ran away. I know that like in the start of the Hunger Games, it's typical that a lot of people die pretty quickly. Yeah, and then they slowly kind of you know get picked off. This is what are your thoughts? A lot of people run away from that. Runs away. Yeah, because they've probably been told by their mentors, "Hey, uh, oh, don't I forgot get they were killed. mentors. I completely forgot about mentors." Let's 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 fan cast all their mentors. Okay. Are we doing that? Oh, Mentor for let's see. No, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna take way too long. Yeah, we already had thirty minutes. <laughs> anyway, next one. The characters I forgot. Yaddle and Cooper. Ooh, Yaddle. That's a surprise. So. Wait, can I read this one? You must have read the last one. Yeah. Okay. Yaddle and Cooper split up to search for resources. Yuko is pricked by thorns while picking berries. Douglas injures himself. How? I I don't know, man. I probably just 
What did you just like? I probably fell or something or tripped. Let's see. Weird. Okay. Or maybe you just like looked at your fingernails and you're like, what if I put these in my eyeballs? <laughs> um, Gwen Stacy scares Barbie. Okay, scares Barbie away. Mr. Rob picks flowers. <laughs> that, that would be a Mr. That's Rob thing. So Rob. That that would be something he do. Thunberg discovers a cave. Um, Hayden begs for Wild Style to kill him. Oh. She refuses, keeping him alive. Curious. Raphael Parson defeats his own mom in a fight, but spares her life. This is crazy. Elmo the puppet accidentally steps no! on a landmine. Oh, I'm sorry, but Bro, what? You dumb. How do you... St- okay, we don't know if he's alive or not, though. It doesn't say... Steps on a landmine. Okay. He could just be, like, you know, in a vegetative state. Calvin Coolidge thinks about home. America. Okay. Donald Trump shoots a poisonous blow dart into Douglas's mom. No! Today is not my day. Killing her. Wow. Evan Hodgson searches for firewood. Haley Williams bleeds out due to unrelated injuries. Und- Rest in peace, Haley. Um, they, they've got you where they want you now. Even though it was never your intention to break. Brad Pitt hunts for other tributes. Dang. Kylie Weldon searches for firewood. Colette Borden receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Tim Henson searches for a water source. He's still alive. He's still good. Proceed. Bro, what's with Elmo? How do you... Bro, that's dumb. Anyway, how do you feel about uh, defeating your mom in a fight, but choosing to spare life? That's crazy. Um... You're not... I mean, I guess if I was getting into a fight with my mom, that's... Uh, how it would go. Um, Freaking Donald Trump shooting a poison blow dart into my mom? What the heck? What is this? Man. That's crazy, bro. My mom wants to kill Kamala Harris, and Donald Trump's freaking just killed your mom. Can't believe it. Wow. Rest in peace. Proceed. <clears throat> this is day one. Okay, so Kamala is Harris, killed by your mom. Cole, killed by Cooper. Yeah. Elmo, freaking Dumbo. <laughs> Elmo, more like <laughs> my mom. R.P. Haley Williams. Uh, what injuries? Untreated injuries? What from what? I don't know. Picked herself. Oh, I thought it said unrelated. Did I misread? It says untreated. I oh, think. Okay. So. Uh, didn't she get hit in the face? I'm too lazy to look back. Wait. Yeah. Um, five people were dead. At least, uh, R.I.P. Mom. This is so cray cray. Yeah. Anyway, night one. Tim Henson who receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. <laughs> it was your boy. Actually, I'm in the game. I can't do that. Barbie <laughs> thinks about home. Yaddle receives an explosive from an unknown. Ooh. Evan climbs a tree. Oh, Cooper's playing the aggressive. Cooper Whitna destroys your mom's supply while she's asleep. Court passes out from exhaustion. She's probably still alive. Uh, Wild Style, Donald Trump, Gwen Stacy, and Kyrie Weldon. What a what a team up! Wow. Donald Trump, Wild Style, Gwen Stacy, and Kyrie Weldon. <clears throat> to lighten the mood. Uh, they tell each other ghost stories to lighten the mood. Mr. Bob passes out. Is this a death? Passes out, no, I would have said he died if he died. Ooh, I got explosives. You also got explosives. Oh. Uh, Greta Dunbert slightly hums Yuko, Yuko, Calvin, and Hayden sleeps in shifts. Interesting team up. Brad Pitt thinks about winning. Oh no, what do we do? Dude, I'm, I'm afraid of Brad Pitt and Brad? Cooper. Oh, what are we gonna do now? Dude, I'm afraid of Cooper and Brad, but I do have an explosive. Thank you, sponsor. I feel like Cooper is the biggest threat here. Who is my sponsor and who is your sponsor? I don't know. I don't know. My dad, Colin. Okay. Um, See, so yeah, I'm from District 2, so I probably got like a, a rich family, so I guess it could have been like my dad, yeah. Okay. Anyway, this is only night one, so let's see. Day two now. Day two. Oh, it looks like Colette is team, teamed up with Barbie. Okay. Gwen Stacy. Oh, you want to read this one? Uh, sure. Gwen Stacy receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Cooper Whitnaw receives a, uh, receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. 
Mr. Rob begs Wild Style to kill him. She refuses, keeping him alive. Douglas receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Whoa. Good job. Greta sees smoke rising in the distance, but decides not to investigate. Raphael's mom discovers a cave. Raphael tends to Calvin Coolidge's wounds. Hey, what an interesting team. Wait, wasn't he, like, teamed up with... I forgot who, who was I he? don't know. Yuko explores the arena. Donald Trump practices his archery. Hayden, Evan, and Kylie hunt for other tributes. Tim Henson picks flowers. Ooh. Interesting. Not entirely out of character. Yaddle questions her sanity. Brad Pitt receives an explosive from an unknown. No, sponsor. he's thinking about winning. What are you Dude, doing? Brad Pitt's gonna freaking murk us, bro. Ugh. He's the he's he got explosives and he's thinking about winning. Wow. Brad Pitt Antichrist confirmed. I don't know what that means. Anyway, hey, no one died. <laughs> wow. Wow. That doesn't make the sponsors happy. Anyway, next one. Night two. Oh, it's like me, Evan, and the Brett. Wait, did I break Evan's nose? Why did I team up with him? Colette sends Brad, Evan, and Douglas away from her fire. Me and Evan, wait, I broke Evan's nose. Why would he, whatever. I mean, just because y'all got fended away from the fire doesn't mean <laughs> that y'all were together. That's probably the shoot. There's also enemy of my enemy. Okay. Mr. Rob receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Greta kills Gwen Stacy with a hatchet. Whoa. <laughs> Greta is taking... Okay. Wildstyle sees a fire, but stays hidden. It's probably the same one as Colette's. Co Cooper Whitna spares Yaddle... Defeats Yaddle in the fight, but spares her life. Oh, so he's not playing aggressive. Oh, no! no! Raphael, you fell in the frozen lake and drowned. Probably your, uh... Deeply afraid of fish was in there. Ah, oh, dude, I saw like a little, I saw like a, a sunfish, and I was like, ah. Hayden goes to sleep. Donald Trump, Yuko, and Raphael's mom get in the fight. Your mom kills them both. Wow. Whoa. My mom killed Trump. What a, what a. Didn't he, how wait, the turntables? Okay, so your mom is just playing the win. Wow. So looks like. Your mom and Cooper is, uh, the main threat here. Anyway, uh, Tim, Calvin, Kylie, Barbie tell each other ghost stories. What a, what a, nice. Okay, so Cooper and your mom are probably the most dangerous person in the game. Also Brad Pitt. Oh yeah, also Brad Pitt. He's thinking about winning. That, what, makes him very unique. Yeah, none of us are, like, thinking about winning, like, but Brad Pitt, he's ambitious, Tim Henson receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Yes, give Tim an axe. This will be great. Raphael's mom runs away from Mr. Rob. Mr. Rob triumphs! <laughs> Cooper is picked, oh, pricked by thorns while picking berries. Hayden and Colette work together for the day. Kylie goes hunting. Evan overpowers Douglas, Whoa! killing him. Okay, he got his revenge against me, I guess. Wow. Whoa, what a... Who and what explosives? Dang. Who would have thought that Evan would kill Douglas? Wow, it's just cruel. Yaddle sees smoke rising in the distance, but decides not to investigate. Brad overhears Greta and Calvin talking in the distance. Barbie camouflages herself in the bushes. Wild Style dies from hunger. Wow. Wow. I can't believe that guy. Well, I mean, I, I guess it's karma. No, that's not karma. That's like breaking someone's nose and killing them is two completely different things. Eh, whatever. RIP me. Guess I didn't use that explosive. And with Douglas and I both died. Wow. Alright, next version. Fallen Tributes. Gwen Stacy. You. Donald Trump. Yuko Suzuhana. Me. And Wildstyle. Alright, who's left? Your mom! How many- Dude, your mom has the most kills! Wow. Wow. Does Brad Pitt have any kills yet? He's kinda- Brad Pitt is just ready to win. Okay. Brad, you gotta- You, get, you know, you got that fear factor going for you, we gotta do something with it. If you wanna, like, you know, be on our radar, if you wanna keep getting sponsorships, buddy. 
like busy. <coughs> Cooper thinks about home. Raphael is oh, what the heck, your mom? What is your mom doing? Your mom killed Kylie Weldon's food, killing her. Greta screams for help. For what? Mr. Rob tracks down and kills Evan. Whoa, Mr. Rob's getting aggressive here. Dude, he was like, you killed my boy Douglas? I kill you. Calvin Coolidge goes to sleep. Barbie cannot handle the circumstances and- <laughs> No! That's- commits the monetization word. Sad. Tim, Brad, Yaddle discusses the games and what hap might happen in the morning. Hayden sets up the camp for night. Quet! No! She's thinking about winning! Oh, shoot. I should have thought about thinking about winning. Night three. Day four. Colette receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Tim Henson begs for Mr. Rob to kill him. He refuses, keeping Tim Henson alive. Oh my goodness, bro. Tim keeps, like... You know, like, getting, like, having, like, close calls with death, you know. I bet it's hurting his ego. Is that, like, a joke? Yes. Greta Thunberg and Hayden, not a very good one, but it's... Greta Thunberg and Hayden hunt for the other tributes. Raphael's mom tries to sleep through the entire day. Calvin stalks Cooper. Brad Pitt accidentally detonates a landmine while trying to arm it. Oh, that's sad. He should have thought harder to win. Broski, you are falling short. Yaddle searches for a water source. Next one. Kylie, Evan, Barbie, and Brad Pitt are dead. <gasps> Brad Pitt died. Oh, disappointing. Next one. All right, Calvin sees a fire, but stays hidden. Hayden's awoken by nightmares. Well, I thought, oh, wait, she wasn't thinking about winning before? What? She was just doing it for fun? Oh, that's wild. Dude, my mom was out here just killing. Just that she and she wasn't thinking about kid. winning? She was just doing it for fun? That's now crazy. Now she's like, what if I could win? Yano kills Cooper. Whoa, it's actually poetic, because that's how Cooper got his first kill. I think. I forgot against who. Tim! Whoa, Tim kills Greta while her back is turned. He stabbed her, bro. Dog was shredding. Oh my goodness. Let's go, Tim! Yo! Mr. Mob passes out from exhaustion and Clyde tends her wounds. Okay. Isn't that the second time Mr. Rob has passed out? I guess. Dude, stay on top of it, man. The feast. What's the feast? Oh, it's this one. Then. Yeah. Cornucopia is replenished with food, supplies, and weapons. Uh, and memoirs from the Tributes families. Tim Henson kills Raphael's mom with a hatchet. Oh, my actually. Whoa. Whoa. I'm speechless. She was on a killing spree. And now Tim put a stop to that. Wow. I... I guess way to go, Tim? Um... Rest in peace, Ma. Jeez. Colette and Hayden decide to work together to get more supplies. Yaddle, Calvin, and Mr. Rob confront each other, but grab what they want slowly to avoid conflict. So what? That's like five people left? Yeah. Dude, I can't believe my mom died, dude. <laughs> Yaddle is pricked by thorns while picking berries. Mr. Rob sprained his ankles while running away from Colette. Uh, Hayden practices archery. Calvin and Tim hunt for other tributes. Oh, they decided to work together this time. Wow. wow. Cooper, Greta, and your mom. Four kills! That's crazy. Wow. I think Colette might be going in the path this week. Like, I think her strategy is trying to hide out. Yo, Tim is the most dangerous one alive right now with two kills. Oh, let's get it. Ooh. Don't get cocky, bud. Who do you... I mean, District 5 still have a chat. Like, they, they're the only district with, like, both of them are still alive. Oh, wow. Yeah, Tim Henson might have a chance, but Mr. Wild might pull a surprise. Maybe Calvin. Calvin has a potential. Dude, I, unfortunately, I don't have a lot of faith in Mr. Rob right now. I know he's got a lot of, like, 
suppressed rage, you know, um, but he just keeps getting really close. I guess we'll see. Proceed. Tim Not Henson. Oh, is this my turn or your turn? Doesn't matter. You want to leave? Go ahead. Tim Henson tends to Hayden's wounds. Colette receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Rob lets Yaddle into his shelter. Calvin receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Alright, just setting up for the, I guess, big fight. Ooh, wait, what did Colette do? To for the, Tim, Yaddle, Hayden, four people! What did they do? What did Colette do to deserve this? They got, she got killed. By Tim? Man, yeah. Colette was just minding whole business. Wow. Dang. I, well, imagine, imagine yourself in Colette's shoes, and you're like running around like the forest or something, just trying to survive, and Tim Henson, of Polyphia guitar fame, Yaddle, a green little alien, Hayden, uh, someone you know from like your school, and your old teacher, they track you down, they chase you, and they- I don't think Colette ever took Mr. Bob. Kill you. Oh yeah, I guess that's right, but- and then Calvin, Calvin picks flowers. Yeah. <laughs> Calvin might be a while. Calvin's picking flowers. Colette. R.I.P. Colette. She lasted way longer than everyone we know, I think. Wow. Ooh, Tim Henson defeats Mr. Oh, you want to read this? Tim Henson defeats Mr. Rob in a fight, but spares his life. Bro, Tim is actually shredding out here. Let's go. Yaddle. Tries to treat her infection. Hayden is unable to start a fire and sleeps without warmth. Calvin falls into a pit and dies. Oh, that's anti -comatic. Rest in peace, Mr. President. I don't even know what president he is. <laughs> right, yeah. Hayden fishes. Tim Henson. Whoa, Mr. Rob. Tim Henson spra sprains his ankle while running away from Mr. Rob. Yaddle tries to spearfish with a trident. Tim, rob is, rob is easy money. Just kill him. You have an axe. Come on. Calvin Coolidge, R.I.P. Four people left. Four people. Tim has three kills, bro. But Mr. Rob, Yaddle and Mr. Rob, whoa. Guess we'll find out what happens then. Proceeds. Yaddle receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Mr. Rob quietly hums. Tim Henson receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Hey, please don't screw it up. Hayden climbs a tree to rest. Mr. Rob camouflages himself in the bushes. Yaddle hunts for other tributes. Tim- <laughs> No! I told you not to screw it up, Tim! Please be about... alive still. Please be alive still. You can survive a landmine, right? Come on, buddy. I'm rooting for Mr. Rob. What yeah. a good run. You know what? what a I, good guess one. I, I guess I'll get on that Mr. Rob train. Tim Henson. Oh, RIP. Now it's just up to the final three. Here's what happens when you pull District down. 5 is still like. Maybe they can pull a Katniss Everdeen and just do that and have. Kill it. I want Mr. Rob to win. I don't know about you. I. Okay, let's see who's alive. We got Hayden, Yaddle, and Mr. Rob. Yeah, I guess I'll go on that Mr. Rob thing. Mr. Rob! I proceed. Mr. Rob Whoa! stabs it's... Hayden while his back is turned. <gasps> Yaddle dies of dysentery. Yo, did Mr. Rob win then? I think Mr. Rob just won. Who else yeah, is what's alive? The... Wait, before we pass it, what's dysentery? Dysentery, um, I know it's not good. I, th I think Probably you get, like, I, it's a, I think you get it from, like, drinking dirty water. Yeah, you? I think you get, like, diarrhea from it. Eh, what a way to go. Wow. The Mr. Rob! Is Mr. Rob is the winner. District 11. Whoa! I'm gonna pause. Clap, 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 clap. Jazz hands. We don't want him to get uncomfortable. We gotta use our jazz hands. Oh, yeah, he did. Um, <laughs> Why did I give it a noise when the point is it's supposed to be silent? I'm like, <laughs> freaking stupid. Oh my, my god. Alright, so let's go over 
what happened in the... Well, I don't remember everything that happened. Come out here. It's first to die. Killed by your mom, I think. Cole died due to Cooper. I will freaking... The person I was waiting for did a dumb move and stepped on a landmine, yeah. of all things. Like, you went the way if they... Bro, both of our guys died from stepping on landmines or fix, exploding themselves. Oh, yeah, that's true. My mom got killed by Trump. My mom Haley... killed Trump? Yeah. How did Haley Williams die? I don't remember. I can't recall. I can't recall Gwen dies. You you fell in the lake and died. Your mom killed Donald. And they killed Yuko. I... Wait, how did I die? Uh... Someone... Oh, Evan killed me. Oh, yeah. Well, I'd say I probably starved to death. Kylie? How did Kylie die? I don't recall. Evan? I don't remember how he died. I don't recall. Brad Pitt stepped on the landmine. I don't remember how Barbie died. Cooper? I don't remember. Wait, my mom got four kills. Jeez. You got the most kills out of everyone. It's crazy. More than Tim? Probably, dude. She was going off. Tim? No, he got three. Your mom got four. Wow, yeah. My mom was the, the most dangerous one here. Honestly, adds up. <laughs> oh! Check it out. We see the... Oh, okay. So we can see the... the summary, yeah. Summary. So we know the beginning. So... Me. Yeah, killed by Raphael's mom. Uh, Your mom killed. Cooper killed. <laughs> Evan, not Evan, Elmo stepped on the landmine. He kills Haley. Oh, she bled out. <laughs> Greta, oh, okay, so Greta kills Gwen. Oh, you fell in the lake. Uh, Your mom killed two people in the fight. Evan killed me. Wild style that was from hunger. Ooh, oh, your mom was the one that killed Kylie. Oh, Mr. Rob killed Evan. Oh, wow. oh and the Barbie committed suicide. Oh, <clears throat> Brad Pitt. Step oh, in. no! Oh, no! Okay, keep going. Do this? I feel like the landmine. Yellow stabs Cooper. So, Karma. For, what, Cole in the Black Ninjago. Dude, it's kind of screwed up that they made Barbie commit suicide. Because isn't there, like, a like a problem with, like, transgender people and, like, Is it? suicide rates? Yeah, I think so. That's... That sounds uh, kind of uncalled for. Hunger Games simulator. <laughs> Jeez. That's sad. Tim killed Greta. Tim, on the same day, he oh, he killed your mom with a hatchet. Oh, crazy. No deaths occurred. Day six. Somehow, Colette got like 14 and got murdered. Calvin just falls in a pit and died. And then. Is summary necessary? I don't know. This is a good summary. Tim dies. I guess this is a 53-minute event <coughs> with, like, a large portion of it just being Ninjago lore, but... <laughs> I like how Yaddo was like, no, nah, I'm gonna die of dysentery while the only fight is between Mr. Rob and Aiden. Dude, Mr. Rob was, like, the perfect underdog. Group. I know, that was the underdog one. He's like, oh, I might die. Oh, I might die. Oh, I'm gonna win. Placements. Number one, Mr. Rob. Two, Yaddle. Three, Hayden. Four, Tim. Not too bad, buddy. Not too bad. Oh, Douglas just yeeted his mouse. Can we get an instant playback on that? We can't. Oh, Douglas just yes. That's not how it works. There's no video. It's just it's just only showing the screen. It's just supposed to be. Oh. Okay. Anyway. It's just supposed to sound cool whenever we hear it rewound. Uh. Okay. Who got the last place? Kamala Harris. <laughs> Is this a? A warning? I don't know. That means that Donald Trump is going to win this election. No comment. Wow. I think that's calls it. Yeah. Mr. Bob, what a perfect underdog. And he usually roots for underdogs. Anyway, I guess this is it. Quite interesting. We talked about this for 55 minutes.